Hi, my name is Tutu. Welcome to our topic of discussion this week and we'll be talking about specifications that you look for, specifics that you look for in choosing a racket. I want to thank you for allowing me to share my knowledge with you. Please keep in mind your skill set, your strength, and this is a big one, feel. So your everything, again, just a reminder that everything is connected. There are about five or six characteristics that you want to look for in selecting rackets. Number one, very, very important, is the weight of the racket. Why is the weight so significant? Because, again, keeping in mind your skill set, your sense of feel, how sharp it is, and your strength. If, you're, if you choose a racket that's not ideal to your skill set, you might have trouble maneuvering the racket. So the weight is very, very important. Number two sub point, the head size. Why is the head size so significant? It has a relationship with how well you can grip the ball on impact. When I say grip, I'm talking about feel. So you are able to, when I look at somebody being able to keep the ball, somebody who is able to keep the ball longer on their strings, it tells me about, of course, their skill set allows them to have tremendous amount of command control over their shots. And with a smaller head size, it is going to help you with greater levels of feel. Very important. I say smaller, very, when I say smaller, I want to say a head size that is 93, 95. Uh, 97 a mid plus frame is I consider anything about 97 uh, about 97 square inches to be a mid plus frame will that help your grip in terms of in meaning how long you can keep the ball on your strings of course it will but then again the smaller the head size for me you have greater levels of grip on impact Point number three, sub point, string pattern. There are so many different types of string patterns now. There are 16 by 18, 18 by 20, 16, 19, um, 15, 16, I believe this racket, 18, 19. Again, there's so many different uh, string patterns. The significance of string patterns is again, feel, grip. The more dense your string pattern is, the greater levels of feel, meaning the greater levels of grip, the greater levels of control, command on impact. The less dense, meaning the more open the string pattern is, you will have so-called a springy effect of impact, meaning the ball will come off your strings probably a bit quicker than when the string pattern is more closed, meaning more dense. Point number four, very, very important, the balance of the racket. When I say balance, I mean head light, head heavy. One well, of the easiest ways to look at if the head light, if the racket is head heavy or head light is, you take your index finger left or right and you place the frame on the neck the neck of the frame on, on your index finger and you will see as I'm demonstrating it now, now that if you look at my racket this is a Wilson blade racket it, it looks like this racket is pretty well balanced if it was head heavy the head would be tilted over to my left Point number five, of course, it's quite obvious, grip size. Very, very 
very very important that you know what grip is suited to your hands different companies racket companies have different grip shapes so if you look at Wilson rackets bubble at rackets the grip shapes are more round I've played with head rackets head rackets have more of a flat grip so if you're looking to switch companies and let's say you like a four and a half or four three eighths grip size in a, in a Wilson racket you might not like that same grip size in a head racket why because the grip shape is different so you want to try uh, different grip sizes to see what you are comfortable with okay and, and one of the last things I want to mention to you is this is so important a player's racket and the racket is providing extreme levels of control grip meaning high levels of feel that means this person this individual has very sharp levels of feel a uh, player's racket is in a way it's customized for a person or people who are very highly skilled the last point I want to make to you today is and you know, I get asked quite a bit is stiffness A heavier racket would, would be more stiff than a racket that is lighter. I'm looking at the movement of the racket head on impact. So, for example, the racket that I have here, the unstrong weight of this racket is about, it's, it is 11.4 ounces. So I want to say, with, with, with the racket being strong, I want to say this racket is probably about 12 or 12.1 ounce, so it's quite heavy. So, this racket on impact, the head is very, it's very stable. That means I'm having to rely a lot on my skill set to be able to move the head, meaning maneuver the racket head, because this racket is providing extreme levels of control. When the racket is flexible, when the head is flexible, so I'm looking at a lighter racket. For the most part, it'll be a lighter racket. That means on impact, there is going to be, depending on the weight of the racket, there's going to be a fair amount of movement of the racket head, where I suppose a, a very simple way of describing it would be so-called the trampoline effect. I mean, the racket is doing a lot of the work for the individual. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I really appreciate all of you for allowing me to share my knowledge with you. Uh, please sub subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I want to remind you of our topic of discussion for the month of, month of April. This upcoming weekend, the topic of discussion is strings. The week after, it's grips, different types of grips. and. The last topic this month is going to be clothing, which includes shoes. Thank you.